The Kochmar organ in Merrill Auditorium will be 100 years old this year. Leslie McVean spoke with Kathleen Grammer, the executive director of Friends of the Kochmar Organ, about their upcoming events that will celebrate this monumental birthday. Kathleen, the Kochmar organ is in the news all the time on its 100th anniversary year, and I just heard it played at the last symphony of the Portland Symphony Orchestra, and it was fantastic. Wasn't that a wonderful concert? Oh, I, everyone just leaped to their feet at the yeah. end. It was so wonderful. It was thrilling. It was just thrilling. Well, there's a lot more happening. What's there is. Coming up? There is. <laughs> we have we have our Meet the King of Instruments Youth Concert. Tuesday, May 22nd at 10.30, we bring in some school children and Ray treats them to the sounds of the Kochmar and we give tours afterward. And this year, because of the centennial, we did a composition competition and Robin Dinda, who lives in Fitchburg, Massachusetts, won the competition with his piece, Casey at the Bat. Oh for organ and narrator using the Thayer poem. So oh, um, it should be really fun. He's going to be here, and we have a student from Breakwater interviewing him on stage. Oh, wonderful. And so. not only fun for music lovers, but for baseball yeah, lovers exactly. as well. <laughs> yeah, well, it is the 100th of Fenway Park, too, this year. So. I know, and, and L.L. Bean's 100th. Right. I mean, there's a lot it's happening. A lot. Tremendous so now. then after that, we have more to look forward to. We do. In June, we're celebrating our, our scholarship recipients in a concert on June, uh, June 19th at, uh, at 7.30 at the hall. And this scholarship trust was started by Mrs. Kochmar, Herman Kochmar's wife, in 1908. And it is a trust that's held by the city for deserving music students in the, in the greater Portland area. And we're featuring some of our past recipients who have made it in the world of music as well as some of our more recent recipients who are still students. Now, are these, these recipients do not necessarily have to play the organ. It can be any no, musical no, instrument. No, no, it's any instrument or voice. Preference given to an organ. Well, we, we kind of have to do that a little uh -huh. bit, yeah. Now, <laughs> tell me, are they, are they, how far back does this go? Is it every year this uh, well, scholarship it, is awarded to it was student. started in 1908 mm -hmm. and we um, we took it over it used to be that they would submit tapes mm -hmm. in the day of cassette tapes um, and when I started with Friends of the Kochmar I said we really need to make this an educational piece mm -hmm. so we had um, we held live auditions and three judges with comments going to the students so that they would get some feedback. How wonderful! So yeah. So now you have several past recipients who've actually gone on and and made music their career. Yes, we do. How exciting! Yes. And they're coming from distances. They are. Uh, one is a former student of Ray's, uh -huh. Brittany Haskell, who's coming from uh, Cape Cod. Oh. Uh, another uh, is a wonderful mezzo, Sarah Sturdivant, who still lives in the area, but went on to do her master's in New York. Oh, terrific. And then we have some other recipients that are, are local who are younger. So uh, we're, we're showing off the gamut. It sounds wonderful. And this will be at Merrill Auditorium? Yes, it will. In June? In June. And it's a free concert. Oh. We're asking for donations to the scholarship fund. Oh, how wonderful. And, and now, what, which day is that and what time? It's Tuesday, June 19th at 7.30. Well, that's a, I, I want to go to that. <laughs> It sounds yeah. wonderful. And then, to cap and it then off, is the big festival. The big festival <laughs> in August. Yes, we're still taking uh, registrations for the festival. We're extending our early bird deadline oh, to terrific. June 15th. And uh, we have a full festival of five days, a pops, a classical, uh, and we also have five concerts. Uh, that you can you can sign up for at Merrill Auditorium through Portix. Oh my goodness! So this will take place over a week or August 17th through 22. Okay. And August 22nd to the day is the hundredth anniversary, and that will be oh. the final concert, oh. the gala concert with uh, Peter Richard Conte from the Wanamaker Organ in mm -hmm. Philadelphia, Macy's, oh. Oh. and Ray Cornell's and the Festival Brass. Oh. Well, it's so. so important. I mean, we are one of the very few organs 
of its kind we are. in the country. We are indeed, and it, it deserves the recognition it's getting, and I'm, I'm just thrilled to be a part of the celebration. Well, we feel very proud to have it here in Portland, and how can they contact you for more information? For more inf information, they can contact me at info at foko.org or call 553-4363. Terrific. Lots of fun coming up. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Leslie.